Underneath the warp tool are several more distortion tools that you can use to stylize your different shapes. Collectively, all of these tools are known as the liquify tools because they kind of let you move and push things by simply dragging over the top of the different edges. The first of these is the twirl tool and it works by allowing you to kind of twirl the different edges like so. If you double click on the twirl tool you'll be able to see a number of options including brush dimension options where you can control the size of the brush. You can also change the angle of the brush as well as the intensity of the brush. The brush settings for all of the various liquify tools are used in common. So if I change the brush size for the twirl tool, that same size will be used for all the other brushes as well. In addition to the brush dimensions, there are also some different options that are specific to the selected liquify tool. For example, in the twirl tool, you can set the twirl rate. You probably noticed that the twirling was happened quite quickly for us here, but if I can reset that, then the twirl will happen at a much slower rate, which gives me more control over how things are changing. The next liquify tool down the list is the pucker tool. And the pucker tool will kind of pull vertices towards the center of the brush. This is helpful for creating things like points or pulling stuff in like so. The options for the pucker brush include only the detail and the simplify options. The bloat brush works opposite of the pucker brush and enables you to kind of push points and segments to the edges of the brushes. Like so. The options for the, the bloat brush are the same as for the pucker brush. There aren't any specific options outside of the brush details and the detail and simplify options. The next liquify tool is the scallop tool. And this tool kind of creates little ridges or bumps in or outward depending on the direction that you drag the brush along the edges. and can be applied multiple times for more detail. The options for this brush include the complexity, which you can use to define how many bumps there are and how much detail is included. The next liquefied brush is the crystallized brush. This one's one of my favorite and it creates kind of these spikes that emanate out at randomly from where you drag. You can push them out, but likewise you can also pull them in. And the spikes will be oriented based on the direction that you move the brush. The options for this also include a complexity. By upping the complexity, you can get a lot more spikes generated as you drag with the brush. And the final liquify tool is the wrinkle tool. The wrinkle tool is very subtle in that it kind of just randomly perturbates the edges in both directions based on how you drag. So by dragging over these edges, you can kind of get a more random wrinkly looking star like this. The options for this tool include not only a complexity setting, but also settings that you can change 
the horizontal and vertical direction of the wrinkles. Also to note with this is if an item is selected, then the liquify tool will only impact the selected object. For example, with this object selected, I can use the selected wrinkle tool on it. But if I try to use the wrinkle tool on another path that is not selected, it has no impact. However, if no objects are selected, then the liquify tools will work on all paths in the current document.